Hello and good day to all you excellent people of God. It is Rhapsody time, reality time. Did you know that as a Christian, you can be a Christian with a difference? That's right. In today's message, Pastor Chris Oyakilome enjoins you to be visionary with the gospel. Hallelujah. Our theme verse in Romans chapter 15 verses 19 to 20 in the message translation writes, In such ways, I have trailblazed a preaching of the message of Jesus all the way from Jerusalem far into northwestern Greece. This has all been pioneer work, bringing the message only into those places where Jesus was not yet known and worshipped. Paul was a trailblazer, a visionary apostle. What we read in our opening verse reveals his mindset and passion to preach and share the gospel in places where Christ had not been known. He was in the vanguard of taking the glorious gospel to new, unconverted souls. Reading the same opening text from the Amplified Version, it says, This my ambition has been to preach the gospel, not where Christ's name had already been known, lest I build on another man's foundation. In essence, wherever Paul went, he began to research if Christ's name had already been known in such a place. And when he found that the gospel had been established in that city, he simply moved into new cities and regions where the message was not known and pioneered the work. This was the kind of ministry that Paul had, an ever-increasing vision. Glory to God. It was not that Paul was ignoring other places and looking only for places where Christ had not been preached. No. Read the statement he made before what we read in our opening scripture. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ had not wrought by me, to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed, through mighty signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. This is in Romans chapter 15 verses 18 to 19. Think about that. Emulate Paul's kind of vision, where you take the map of your city and research to know where the light of the gospel is still dim or non-existent, with the goal of moving in with the gospel. If they are places you cannot go physically, you send in Bibles and Rhapsody of Realities. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this is seen in Matthew chapter 24 verse 4. Those are the words of Jesus. They must be personal to you. Be passionate about spreading the message of the gospel, not just in your catchment, but also to the regions beyond. Pioneer new cells, fellowships and churches in places where you are aware they do not exist. If you are a pastor or a cell leader, be one with a difference. Be a visionary leader. Chart new frontiers for the gospel. The Lord's mandate is still in force. He said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. This is seen in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. There are yet souls that have not heard this gospel. Expand your vision and move swiftly into these places with the gospel. Utilize every opportunity to preach the gospel. The harvest is ready. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. You are no ordinary person. You have been called with a divine purpose and we have been graced by God's Spirit to carry it out. Right now, I invite you to join us in taking this prayer as you repeat after me. Dear Father, I thank you for committing to my trust the ministry of the gospel. Through me, the light of the gospel shines brightly in cities, regions, and nations, resulting in salvation and impartation of eternal life to many who have never known you. In Jesus' name, Amen. In our further study section today, you may take verses given by our man of God in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 
Romans chapter 10 verse 1 and Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The God life we have been born with needs to be practiced. So put the word of God to work today and don't be conformed to the ways and standards of this world. You have a different language, a different way of living now that you're born again. The only way to learn about this life is to keep hearing it from God's word like this. So subscribe to this channel today. Share these wonderful messages messages to members of your family, your co-workers and your friends when you click on the share button. You can also download a digital copy of the most translated daily devotional in the world today for free from the link in our description. The Rhapsody of Realities. Remember to join in on the global communion service with our man of God, Pastor Chris, this coming 4th of June at 11pm Malaysia time on all Love World platforms and be blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.